You don't know who sent that nurse to take that extra blood. Just a stranger, someone out of the clear blue. You're the only one who knew where the stupid blood was. If, if somebody knew, it's because you told them. Why would I breathe a word of that? I put up with you posing that you're the donor. That's how far I would go to make sure that no one finds out who the real donor is. Yeah, yeah, I know. I also know when you get a couple double vodkas in your system, you do a little more than just say your prayers. Is that what happened, Roxy? Did you shoot your mouth off in some bar? No, I didn't do that, but... But what? But nothing. You know something, don't you? Did someone figure out that those aren't my stem cells that saved Shane's life? You think you're so smart. You think no one will ever know how you put this whole thing together. Who knows, Roxy? Tell me. You listen to me, mister. What happened to me, I brought it on myself. Because maybe there was another way to do things, a better way, but I, I just couldn't see that. Because all I could think about was getting you what you needed. Even if that meant losing your dad and you hating my guts. The only thing that kept me going was, was remembering how much we all loved each other. And the hope that someday we could make it right. And I want that day to be today. You did it all for me to save my life. And now I'm better and we know the truth. Does this mean that dad could come home? Could we be a family again? We sure as hell can. Go get your stuff and move you back here tonight. Maybe not tonight. Why not? We, we, we need to be careful. We need to make sure that no matter what, you get what you need. Are you saying that if you move back here, Aunt Stacy won't give me her stem cells? But she's not my donor. And we don't know who is. We think Stacy does. But she won't tell you? So we have to trick her. How are you going to do that? You guys said you were going to tell me everything. He's right. What we're thinking is, is if Aunt Stacy thinks you're sick again and you need her help. She'll want to do it to make points with your dad. But she can't help me. What we think is that Stacy's hiding an extra bag of stem cells from your real donor. Really? Piece of work, isn't she? So hopefully she'll go get the bag of blood so she can play the hero and... And then we'll nail her and save the extra stem cells for you. So I really get to pretend that I'm dying, right? Can't we do this without using Shane? Can't you and I go to her and say he's sick? I can do it, Mom. I want to do it. <sighs> I, I, I know what you're thinking, but <sighs> Stacy is not going to buy this without Shane. I'm a good actor. Remember the school play? Yeah, well, this is a lot different than pretending to be William Penn. Yeah, it's a lot more important. I mean, this is my life we're talking about, right? Who else knows I'm not the real donor? You and me and Kyle and Nurse Crazy, that's it. Now get off of me! What about the person you got the stem cells from? Oh, baby, not to worry. That bottom feeder is dead and burning in hell. Poor Roxanne. She thinks she murdered you. She must be beside herself without your blood. Now there's no donor left for her grandson. Your grandson. I still don't understand why you want that awful Stacy Morasco to have the key to saving him. But I guess you have your reasons. Listen, if Shane gets sick, he's gonna need that extra blood. Oh, I'm sorry, what blood? Like I told you before, do not play me. You hired that nurse to stick me and grab it. Look, if I did something like that, which I didn't, I certainly wouldn't try to make a deal with you. That blood, if I had it, it would be my insurance policy. Well, if Rex is so all over you, then why do you need insurance? Maybe you're not as sure of Rex as you look. Honey, you may have a place in his bed, but you'll never have a place in his heart.
Puppy, I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you before. It sounded disrespectful. But I meant what I said, and I still do. I love Langston, and we are going to be together. And what I'd like is for you to respect me too. This is my life, and I have to live it my way. Now, can't we work something out? Yes, we go work something out. About that? Uh, I, I thought you were closing Capricorn. Yeah, I got someone to cover for me. Okay, well, I guess I'll go get ready for bed. Really? I thought that's what you were doing right now, getting ready for bed. We, um, we, we didn't think you'd be home until later. Yeah, I figured. You know, I ran into a buddy of yours tonight, a guy named Kyle Lewis. And he hasn't been a buddy of mine since college. Well, he must have kept tabs on you. He told me you were using Layla. Care to explain that? <laughs> Mr. Rivera, I knew that you could be a reasonable man. This is our agreement, Geraldo. You stop seeing this girl and leave here with your mother and me right now. Or you don't bother coming home at all. Ernesto. Oh, so it's still... Your way or the highway. I am a man of my word. Yeah, well, so am I. I said I wasn't giving up Langston, and I meant it. You want to throw me out? Go for it. Geraldo! We are going home. Look, Kyle Lewis doesn't know anything about Layla and me. He doesn't see it that way. Yeah, what else did he say? Not much. Oh, wait. There was one thing. Something about you not being who you seem to be. Yeah, well, back in college, everybody thought of me as this computer geek. They never think I can have a good time. I don't know. It sounded a little more personal than that. Look, Kyle Lewis is a con artist. Okay, he, he tried blackmailing Natalie Buchanan and Jared Banks. So you think he was working me? Yeah, you know, maybe. He's seen Layla, he knows, he knows how hot she is. Maybe he was trying to get you to warn her off of me. I, I mean, who wouldn't want a shot with her? You two still awake? Not for long. Oh, look at that. Someone forgot to replace the orange juice. What's that all about? Uh, beats me. That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? You sent that crazy nurse after me. What? Help Stacy get that blood? Like you helped her cover up the fact that she was not the real donor? I am so not in the mood for this. Okay, I don't know any nurse, and the only people I talked to were your daughter and her husband. You took Natalie and Jared to that room. It was that or going to jail. You're right. You gave them the name, didn't you? I told them I didn't remember because it doesn't matter to me, and it doesn't. That creep is still torturing me from the grave. Stacy's still got all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> 